So as you can see, this is the work area. Now if you look closely, you will see that this particular application is not your standard application like Word or PowerPoint. If you talk about Word, it was basically a layout like a paper and presentation was a layout like slides that we put in projectors. But here if you see, it is a form of a table. So what you will see is a tabular form where you have rows and columns as you can see these are rows starting from number one and columns are starting from alphabet A going up to Z and then A, 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 B in that sequence. Now you will see that whenever each row and column is intersecting a tiny box is created. This box is called cell. And within this cell, we will be putting each individual detail. How to do it? We'll learn later. Now here on the ribbon, which is our menu for using this application. That means anything you, that you need to do additionally, then rather just putting the data, we will be doing from here. Now, as you can see, this ribbon is the also divided into certain parts. Like you will see, this is the title bar and here you will see various options like here in the middle or in the center, you have name of this worksheet or name of this particular file, which is as of now book one Excel, which is a default name. If your file is not saved, when you save it and give it a new name, then that particular name will be replaced here. Then on the left hand side, just like any other Microsoft application, we have a quick access toolbar, which has option that you might need to use again and again. So they are placed here so you can quickly access them. Then on the right hand side, we have four options to minimize, maximize, close and this button, which is for various display option for this ribbon or for this menu. Now, as you can see, when I click on it, there are three options. One is auto hide ribbon, which is like this. You'll get full screen of work area. And only when you move your mouse pointer to the top, you will get the ribbon and you can click on the ribbon and then it will expand. Then second is show tabs which will only show sub menu or the tabs. Now these tabs are part of the ribbon, which contains option that are of similar functionality. As you can read the name of this tabs, home, insert, page layout. So the home tab will have all the basic functions. The insert tab will have all the functions or all the options with help of which we can insert or add something into our Excel workbook. Then same way formulas will have all the formulas that you can use in Excel workbook. So these tabs help us in ribbon so we can locate the option that we need from that particular tab only. So you can have this kind of look or you can have this kind of look, which is also the default look, which is show tabs and commands. That means not only tabs, but the expanded commands or expanded menu of each tab will also be displayed. That is, if you see when I'm on home, you will see I have a list of menu. When you go on insert, it changes. When you go on formulas, it changes. So when you're on home, you will see that even this commands or these options are separated or divided into some vertical sections, as you can see here these lines. So cause of these section, we make it a group. Like here you can see this is a group. This is a group. This particular is a group and each group has a name. As you can read here, font, alignment, number, cells, editing, etc. So if you want to find or locate any particular command, it is very easy. You go on a ribbon, 
you go to a tab and then you go to a particular group the reason why structure of ribbon is given like this is so that you do not have problem to locate any feature and all the commands or option that has similar functionality are placed together like as you can see here in the cells group we will have only options or command which works on cell so if you want to do anything you'll come directly to this group and nowhere else then on the status bar we have status of the application like zoom windows different reading modes and here which is more important is as you can read sheet 1 and here there is a plus sign when you click on it you'll go on sheet 2 now how on Microsoft Word you had different pages and you had page 1 page 2 and then slides you had slide 1 slide 2 it is not exactly like that but it is somewhat similar I will explain you how here you will create a worksheet one where within this workbook you will create some data like for example your monthly tracker or your activity tracker for the month of July then let's say in sheet 2 you create your activity tracker for the month of August so within one application you can maintain data either weekly or monthly or whatever is your preferred duration so that is why Microsoft Excel is really useful and helpful because you have n number of rows and columns and also you can add as many sheets as you want in one workbook. So within this one workbook you can maintain data for maybe months or years as you like.